for some science experiments, just about, with the Imagination Station. Jeff Stevenson joins us from the Imagination Station. We're going to be talking about whoosh today. Yeah, well, we have some what we call the whoosh tube today. So okay. I'm going to be giving you some fire safety knowledge today. Are you, are you ready for that, Chris? Got my safety gear. Got I'm your, working on you're it. You're already working on your safety gear. Um, and what we're going to be talking about is flammable vapors. Now, a lot of people know about flammable liquids. You've heard, you know, gasoline, kerosene. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually isopropyl alcohol, Okay. Um, a flammable liquid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. But what I think is more dangerous is flammable vapors. Um, and the reason for that is it's not it's not the same as having like a liquid on the on the floor and you can clean it up. You can tell where it's at. With vapors, they're they, they could be anywhere in the air. They can combine with oxygen in any way, shape, or form. You're not really they're much more uncontrollable. You just had a real little bit of that in that beaker and you dumped it in there. Just a very I, I could very, barely tell. You could barely tell. A, a very small amount. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually spinning my plastic uh, jug here. And what that's doing is allowing me to coat the entire inside of it, which will give it more surface area to evaporate into a vapor. Okay. And so just go from that liquid state to the vapor. Exactly. Okay. And, and just to prove to you that I only have vapors in here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just pour out any, let me make sure I get it all coated, any remaining liquid fuel that might be yes. in. And look, I actually, it's not much, a drop or two. A couple drops. Okay, okay, so everything in here is a vapor then, right? And there's no more liquid. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do is, I'm gonna have you ignite some of these vapor fuels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a match in these tongs here. All right, and you're going to quickly, but efficiently put it into our, our jug. Are you ready? Okay. And we, we have no rush right now. We can just go ahead and light it, let it get lit, go ahead and drop it in. Oh, oh let it get built up. Oh, let me try one more time. See if we can't get that started. Here, Chris, I'm, not, I'm just going to give you a whole Let's new one. Let's do Don't a worry. new match. Let's just do a whole new match. I have no problem with that. There you go. I'm going to let that guy get going. Yeah, go for it. Go All for right, it. now we're ready. And just drop it. So that was a pretty distinct flame, right? And that was, there was no liquid in there. That was just vapors. That, was, that could yes. be in the air. Like, that, that, that's just something that's there. You, you want to you try it one more time? That looked like you lit a jet engine. Yeah, it was kind of cool. We call it the whoosh tube because it, it forces so much heat all at I once. I get it now. Yeah. There was the whoosh. whoosh. Yeah. All right. So you want to try it one more time? We'll see so what happens. So now we didn't exhaust all the vapor in there, did we? That's what we're going to find out. So um, go ahead and a drop. A natural question, I yeah. suppose. We'll go ahead and uh, get that uh, match going one more time. OK, here we go. All right, go ahead and drop it in. Not as impressive, right? Didn't have the whoosh. Didn't have the whoosh. It had a little bit of a flame from some vapors that were left over, but the, the co uh, components of this reaction are actually CO2, which is what in our fire extinguishers. So that puts out a flame. And what's really cool, this is what I find fascinating, is water is actually a component of this reaction. So that is actually a, a, a cup of water there now. Really? We actually formed a little bit of H2O2, or H2O, not H2O2, H2O. Okay. Isn't that kind of crazy? I didn't expect that, but I like that. I think what we got to do, though, is we, we got to just do the, 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 the real whoosh again, right? Okay. You, you just want to do it again? Well, I, well, let's do the real whoosh again. We'll, we'll do the real whoosh again. So I'll go ahead and I'm, I'm going to put my liquid fuel inside of there. While you're doing this, tell me, uh, you got to spin it again. Tell me what's going on at the Imagination Station. Okay, so this Saturday we are doing Hero Days. And the reason I'm talking about fire safety is because we are inviting heroes from all over the community to come showcase their equipment, what they do, and we really want to honor them because, you know, we have firefighters, SWAT team, uh, the Toledo police department, lots of different local heroes that are coming in, and they're going to have their vehicles and um, all, just all kinds of crazy stuff. So that will be this Saturday, July 12th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Hero Day out at the Imagination Station. Fun experiments like the whoosh tube, right? Ex Exactly, exactly. So why don't we go ahead and end the segment here with one last whoosh. So I'll go ahead and give you tong. Ignition. Make sure we got flame. And remember, vapors are very, very unpredictable. <laughs> Woo! All right, Chris. So that wasn't even the exact same as our first one either, right? It was a little bit different. It was a little bit different. Nothing about vapors. You never know quite how they're going to mix with the oxygen and quite how they're going to function with the sparks. That's what makes science fun. I like that. I'm yeah. going to stick to the grill next time. Yeah, though. yeah. That's you okay. stick to the science. Coming up on Toledo's <laughs> Only Live, Local 9 Am Show.